Well, greetings all. How are you today? There is Holy Spirit impregnated into this video, so whoever's watching it, you may see the boogers flee. Anyway, I'd like to say shalom to you who do believe. I'd like to say greetings to all of you in churchianity and religiosity out there. I would that you would consider a definition that just doesn't seem to click in most people's minds, and that's wicked and evil. Okay, I've heard wicked people, I've heard evil people, this guy's evil, that woman's wicked, that uh, guy is wicked and evil, this woman is evil and she's wicked. Okay, but what does that actually mean? And I do highly recommend you check out your scriptures because whenever you see evil or wicked again, you should just substitute it with one that is lawless. Okay, they practice lawlessness. They break the laws. They break the commandments. That is what makes somebody wicked, and that's what makes somebody evil. But for some reason, it, it just doesn't click in the minds of those in churchianity and religianity out there to put two and two together. You know, I mean, they, you want to tell me that the laws are done away with, you know, well, that's fine. But the problem is when you read the scriptures, you find out that it, it's totally bizarre what you think is going on. You, you may not understand, and I pray that you do. I pray that you have understanding, that you may understand from now on what wicked and what evil is. The only way you can be wicked or evil is by breaking a law. You have to do things like murder someone uh, and cut them up in pieces and eat them. Well, that's no worse than stealing a candy bar. Okay, so if you steal a candy bar or a piece of gum or anything you steal, okay, if you have lust in your heart, if you have any thought that goes against the laws and the commandments or any act against them, you, my friend, whether you're a guy, a gal, or a child, you're still wicked and you're evil because you're lawless. And our king says right straight to you, get behind me. I never knew you. You who practice lawlessness, who don't keep the laws of our Heavenly Father, so please, consider these words when you start reading the scriptures again. You'll see wicked, you'll see evil pop up everywhere. And just know that that actually means, I mean, in order to be wicked or evil, you have to do something wrong. And the only wrongs that they are is when you break a law or commandment. Everything else is allowed. All you got to do is keep the laws and commandments. There's no problem with going out there, you know, on your, your snowmobiles or boats on a lake or fishing or, or things of this sort as long as you control yourself. Don't lust. If you lust over some woman and you're married, well, guess what? You're wicked. You're evil. So I'm going to leave you with that. And uh, it's uh, been a blessed Sabbath so far, I'll tell you what. I got me a crock pot full of uh, some moose and turkey with potatoes and, and uh, pinto beans and kidney beans and all kinds of great stuff. So I'm going to go there and eat while I can. It's a righteous meal. And if you'd like to find out what righteousness is, please look up Deuteronomy chapter 6 and verse 25. It'll tell you, if you want to be righteous, keep the commandments. And the only way you can keep the commandments is by the 613, give or take, laws that simply define how the Ten Commandments are to be kept and to put your trust in our, our heavenly priest, our high priest, Yahshua, our Messiah. He's the one that we have to put our trust in because the Father gave him all things. And if you don't believe that, it's okay. You're just wicked, and you're evil. You're a sinner. You are one that practices lawlessness. And no, man's law doesn't count. Okay, because man's law, here in New York, there's over 4 million 
laws, whether they're county, state, uh, federal, uh, municipal, city, whatever, okay, there's over 4 million laws to keep in New York State. And that's why the prisons are full and such, you know, the jailhouses and everything, you know, they're getting overrun because there's, I mean, everything you do for the most part, there's a law against it. Or they could at least prove it if they take you to these courts. Okay, so man's law just don't cut it. Our Heavenly Father has 613 laws, and most of them don't even apply to you. If you're not a woman, you don't have to worry about how to keep yourself clean when you have that monthly thing going on and also how to conduct yourself when that takes place because everywhere you sit down becomes unclean and then when someone else comes and sits on it they become unclean until it's washed and if there's blood on the seat or whatever that nobody noticed just a little teeny speck everyone that sits on it after they take a shower or whatever and at sunset they become clean well they don't become clean if there was blood there because you know menstrual blood makes somebody unclean for seven days so even after they shower they're still unclean for seven days and that's why a woman's supposed to count off after her uh, her cycle her monthly cycle okay once it stops she's to count off seven days for clean days okay so these laws learn to love them and if you don't it's okay because we know who you are you are the wicked and the evil ones you're the lawless ones those in churchianity and religionity that refuse the truth and the truth is wicked and evil mean nothing more or nothing less than a sinner Please consider these things. Once again, Holy Spirit's been on this here video. Uh, you may feel it because it may be kicking your butt a little bit because you know that you may be wrong in what you thought. But there's nothing wrong with being wrong because our kings allowed us to become right and to be forgiven. So please consider these things. Uh, enjoy the Sabbath if you keep it. And if you don't, enjoy your sin. You know, because our king's got a reward for all of us. <laughs> you know, we, we earn wages of sin. We earn wages for death. And that's a, a payment for the wicked and evil. The lawless ones. So please consider those things, okay? Wicked and evil just means you sin. Okay? Simple as that. If you don't like it, repent. <laughs> I don't like it. Nobody likes it. I love you, but I hate what you do if you practice lawlessness. But other than that, I love you, man. You know, <laughs> lady, girl, children, I love you all. I just hate what you do if you sin. And so does our king because I follow him. I'm part of his body. And you should be wanting to be such yourself. So until we meet again, enjoy the Sabbath if you keep it. Uh, if you don't, please look into it, okay? It's Friday night to Saturday night at sundown, okay? It starts Friday night sundown, goes through Saturday night sundown every single week. It's the same thing. We're not supposed to work. We shouldn't have our animals work. Uh, we should allow all these to rest. For a day, we actually need it. We need to be able to catch up on ourselves and to uh, rejuvenate. And our Father knows this. See, he created our bodies and He created the Sabbath so that we can keep it. Okay? So please consider these things. And until uh, we meet again, I say shalom to you who do believe or are seeking. And I, I say uh, adieu to all of you who choose to be wicked and evil. Bye.